Okay, we've got a biased dice here. I know the singular of dice is die, but I'm just going to go with what they've written. We have a biased dice. You can roll a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 6. These are the probabilities of getting a 2 to a 6. The dice is rolled 200 times and we have to estimate of those 200 times how many will be a 1 or a 3. Okay, well first thing we have to do is fill in that number there. So the probability of rolling a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 6 is 1 because the probability of something definitely happening is always 1, okay? Because you're definitely going to get either a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 6. So that number plus these five must add up to 1. So let's add all these up, subtract it from 1 and we'll get that. And that plus that plus that plus that plus that if we add those five up, we get, what does it come to? 0.69, okay? So 0.17 plus 0.18 plus 0.09 plus 0.15 plus 0.1 is 0.69, okay? So therefore, that number there must be one minus 0.69. <clears throat> which is 0.31, okay? Now those six numbers, those six probabilities add up to one. Good, okay, now, how do we work out an estimate for rolling a one or a three 200 times? Well, you assume it's an estimate, okay? So you assume that the number of ones you get, okay, is 0 0.31 times 200. You, in other words, you assume that 31% of all your rolls, exactly 31% is going to be a one. And again, you assume that exactly 18% or 0.18 of your rolls is going to be a three. It's why it's an estimate. In reality, if you rolled a dice 200 times, okay, if you rolled this dice 200 times, maybe exactly 31% of them would be a one, but it's unlikely you could get 29% or 30% or, or much lower or higher. So that's why it's an, why it's an estimate. We, we assume that 31% are going to be one. Okay, anyway, so therefore, we're going to get 0 0.31 of times 200 are going to be 1 and we're going to get 0 0.18 0 0.18 of them of the 200 is going to be a 3 okay so that's the estimate so that is, that's, take out a factor of 200, so it's 0 0.31 plus 0 0.18 times 200. So that's 0 0.49 times 200, which is, well, 0 0.49 times, okay, you can do this on a calculator if you want, but you can do this in your head. This is a calculator paper, you're allowed to use calculator. If that were 100, it would be 49, so it's 200, so it's twice 49, so it's 98. Okay, and that's how it's done. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please click the like button and it would be a massive help if you could subscribe. It would also be amazing if you could support me on Patreon. All the papers and everything are on my website, drgem.com, and I'm also on social media. Thank you.